one. Yeah, thank you very much for granting us uh, this interview. Um, the BBC just concluded the first ever debate that they've had in the Gambia. Um, what are your overall impressions? Of well, I think, um, thank you so much first and foremost, but I think it was a great interaction with Gambians and I want to call it the barometer, not the barometer as the instrument, but barrow and a meter combined. Why? This is a way for Barrow and his government to gauge the sentiments of Gambian in terms of our expectations. I think one thing that this government has done, they've done a good job in making a regime change, but they haven't so far shown us a blueprint in terms of systems change. And Gambians are interested to see where this government wants to take us in terms of systems, medium to long term. And that starts with communication and effective communication on that matter. So we expect this government to be very interactive proactive and communicate with Gambians on a two-way stream whereby they listen to what we want and they also tell us what they have in store for us. Okay. Um, this debate um, did bring up a whole lot of issues ranging from justice to employment creation for um, the youthful population of the country. Um, from your own point of view, which ones exactly should be priority to the present government? Well, um, for any government to prosper, you first need macro fundamentals to be sound and in place. Mm -hmm. Currently, the Gambian macro fundamentals are way in disarray and it needs to come back to place. And these are our fiscal and monetary barometers. So what I really want to see this government do is to have a good economic governance structure. And in this economic governance structure, they'll try and tame the fiscal dominance that we have seen in this economy and also have prudent monetary management whereby going forward, the interventions and some of the backhandedness we've seen in terms of government accessing the central bank will no longer be an issue. But our macro fundamentals of this economy needs to be back intact. Okay. And finally, your overall impression of the entire debate today? Well, the debate was a good thing to gauge Gambian sentiment. And I think Gambian sentiment, if the government is listening, is that we are somehow impatient. But I think Gambians also need to be realistic. Having Jame out doesn't mean a new day for Gambia overnight. This government, as far as I'm concerned, they're just here to build the foundation of the new Gambia. Not the new house that new Gambia will be premised on, but just the foundation. So I hope Gambians do understand one thing, that these people cannot do miracles, or this government cannot do miracles, but we expect them. And we're going to hold them accountable to building the foundation of new Gambia, where tribal affiliation, tribal politics, and also the bickering that we're seeing in Gambia will no longer be. We want to see better health care, better access to education, you know, affordable pricing for energy stuff, just like petroleum, and also to make income levels of Gambian go to a point that a Gambian can have a dignified livelihood. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah? Most welcome, gentlemen. Thank you very much.